For our final project, my group created a C++ rendering engine for a Schwarzschild shield black hole. The black hole is an extreme astronomical object that has a gravitational field so intense that it bends the path of light rays. This causes all kinds of visible distortions in a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. The kind of black hole we render, shown here, is a Schwarzschild shield black hole, one with no charge or angular momentum. This is a non-linear ray tracer, as it works in pure space times. We calculate the path of each ray in a stepwise fashion as we can no longer rely on the geometry of straight lines. In each time step, we update the velocity and position of the ray using a linear equation that reduces the equations of motions for a null geodesic or massless particle around a Schwarzschild shield black hole. Even with this simple reduction, we can create some pretty stunning renderings. We ray trace by drawing a ray from the camera position to a pixel in our scene. However, instead of traveling in a straight line, our ray will curve based on our equation of motion. We step the ray and stop on intersection with our scene. Our scene consists of primitives which the ray can intersect. These are the main parts of a black hole. The accretion disk, event horizon, and the background sky. Upon intersection with the primitive, using texture mapping techniques, we retrieve the RGB values for our pixels. Finally, we multi-thread our rays tracer similar to Project 3's path tracer. In our project, each thread renders a horizontal line of the image in a round-robin fashion. There are several different black hole ray tracers online, including a famous Python one, Starless, and several in C-sharp. One challenge our group faced in writing our own ray tracer was finding suitable replacements for C++ that could replace things like NumPy or Microsoft System Migrate. Our results paid off, however, as a ray tracer was up to six times faster than a comparable C-sharp project and twice as fast as Starless. Going forward, some things we could take on next are simulating curved black holes, a kind of black hole that spins, or rendering diffuse bodies like planets in our scene. For more details on our project, please refer to our writing.